going to try a swipe just using my regular Floetrol and Liquitex gloss medium. And I mixed that base here with this Curate color, the cheap stuff, because I, I wasn't really expecting the swipe to go well because I don't know what I'm doing. But I figured I'd try it, and I don't really like house paint. It doesn't work. It dries too fast. If you drop it on the floor, it's there forever. So it's really hard for me. So I decided to try the regular just Floetrol paint. So since I have such great luck, I decided to open my Australian Floetrol, and lucky me, that's also messed up, and it smells terrible. I had never opened it. I had a little bottle that I had used most of, so I bought a larger bottle for a replacement for a million dollars, and I just never got around to doing any more blooms after that. So I have just a little bit of the little bottle left. It's good. And then the new bottle is just trash, kind of liquidy, and smells like sulfur, so... I took a little bit of the good stuff and mixed it with a little bit of the bad stuff, hoping that it would still work. And it seems like it does. I don't know if it's working as well because I don't really have that much experience with doing swipes. But at least I'm glad that it worked a little bit. So I don't know if I'll ever buy Australian Floetrol again. If I can't get regular Amsterdam paint to work, then I guess I just won't be a swipe or bloom person ever again. So I've been watching a lot of Molly's videos where she does the regular paint and flow trail swiping. And then Amy's acrylic artistry did a few. And so um, along with a couple other people, I really wanted to go ahead and try the swipe. The swipe scared me kind of like the split cup scared me and that worked out. The rest of this video is really just me trying to figure out how to swipe correctly and how to do the scoop and drag, which I don't know if that just doesn't work well because I don't know what I'm doing or if the regular Floetrol paint is not very stretchy. Um, eventually do better than this, but yeah, it, it's kind of not very good. But I really like the way this is in the end, and it looks like a little planted aquarium to me, even though there's a couple spots that I messed up. So just for my own purposes, I wanted to make this video, and maybe it will somehow be helpful, even though I did everything wrong. So I just grabbed some old colors that I had from Dutch Pours and then the Master's Touch Silver is that giant bottle of liquid. And I wanted to see if that would do anything interesting because it makes those somewhat pearl cells on regular paintings. So I threw that in there and it didn't really disappoint me. So check out at the end. You can see some of the interactions that it made. So I didn't show in the beginning the pillow paint was about two and a half seconds until the trace goes back into the container and then the paints on top um, the regular paint is about a two second trace so in case you were wondering that's what I was using I still think it could be maybe just a little bit thick because it took forever to tilt off the paint and here I'm doing stuff that I don't know why I did that but I don't recommend it I wish I hadn't decided to add the extra swipe on top of my already swiped paint and then, of course, it was dirty with black on it, so that didn't help at all. But I'm going to go ahead and um, cover it up by tilting it off, and nobody saw that happen. It didn't occur. Nope, it wasn't there.
So here you can see those little silver pearls starting to pop up. Um, so I kind of expected that that was going to happen. But I actually like how it was kind of throughout the whole painting instead of in random weird places. So it actually worked out pretty well. Did leave a little bit of a haze on the on the canvas at the edges, but I was really just practicing anyway, so it's okay. But I really do like the little pearls that it made. <laughs> 